every crime committed today has a witness. If you were the witness to that crime, would you come forward and tell what you know? The witness that I'm talking about is digital evidence, a cell phone, a computer, a smartwatch, might be a gaming console, Amazon Echo or Google Home, might be a video doorbell, or even a car infotainment system, or any of the multitude of devices that store or transmit data. So again, if you were a witness to a crime, would you come forward? But instead of you, it's your cell phone. Would you willingly hand over your cell phone and all of its contents to help solve a crime? You've done nothing wrong, but would you let someone go through every text message, every photograph, every video, every internet search, every note, maybe even things you've deleted, every location you visited to help solve a crime? For many of us, our cell phones are very personal. They're an extension of ourselves, and they tell a story of who we are. So what does your story tell? In the field of digital forensics, I analyze data. And I work in the public sector, so the data I'm analyzing is generally part of a criminal investigation. And I haven't been doing this very long compared to other people I know, but I've already seen things that make me cringe, laugh out loud, shake my head. But the data on our phones, when we analyze the data, from a phone or computer or other device, but especially a phone, which really is just a computer in our pocket, it's a lot like reading their diary. Interpersonal communications, who we're talking to, and how we talk differently to different people tells about relationships. You can tell a lot about a person's personality and mindset based on what they're reading, what they're listening to, what they're searching for, and what they're watching. It all tells a story. So what does your story tell? All at one time, your phone is a great many things. First and foremost, it's a telephone. It's a listening device, a tracking device, a diary, a GPS, a camera and a photo album, a video camera, might be our wallet, music player, a gaming system, it's a connection to the internet, your social connection, and so much more, all in one convenient little package. So if someone were to analyze your phone, what would they see? What does your story tell? But the information on our phones, while it can be very personal, it doesn't just stay on our phones. It spreads and branches to many other places. It's the text messages we send to other people that they then may screenshot and send to yet more people, or save. It's the data that we sync up to Apple or Google. It's the social media posts that we make, or the comments we leave on other people's social media. It might be comments you leave on a news story, or chats you do in an online gaming forum. It all leaves a digital, lasting legacy. Well, what is a legacy? A legacy is something that we pass down and hand on from generation to generation for the next generation to have, right? So it might be money, property, or even your family's reputation. So think of the data on your cell phone and that branches out from it as a digital legacy. What do you want that legacy to be? Because that data and your digital legacy, unlike a traditional legacy, has the potential to last forever. So what do you want your legacy to be? So some of you are probably thinking, sure, I'm not a criminal. I have nothing to hide. Go ahead and look at anything you want. The rest of you are out there wiping your phones right now as I speak, <laughs> or trying to figure out how. Now, unfortunately, some of the cases that I've had the opportunity to work on, we're trying to find out what happened to someone. We know that person's gone, we have their device, and we know they're not coming back. And we are tasked with trying to figure out why. Was it accidental? Was it intentional? 
or was it something more sinister? Often what we don't have is the passcode, and we're not able to find out. So the mystery continues. Sometimes we do know what happened to that person. No mystery, nothing sinister, and we're just trying to help a grieving family to unlock that device. But we're still not able to do that, and the favorite photos or whatever treasure might be held within is still out of reach. So a suggestion that I have for all of you here in our age of privacy and security is to share your passcode with somebody that you trust. Probably not somebody that you live with and not someone that would have regular access or would use it against you, but someone so that if it becomes necessary can unlock that mystery and get access to the information within or to get those photos or whatever information that you just never got around to backing up. Now, Apple and Google have a means of preserving your online legacy, as do many of the leading social media platforms. You designate heirs, you tell them your wishes, but your heirs must upload a death certificate to access the information, and that can all take time. What if the need to know is much more urgent than that? What if somebody leaves here today and doesn't make it home? Do you want someone to know why? Or what if you're somebody that just doesn't trust Apple or Google to upload your data to you and you don't want to store your data in the cloud or you only utilize the free storage that you get and you have thousands and thousands of photos that you just, you're going to back them up. Ugh, I'll do it next week. I just haven't gotten it done. Share that passcode so you can pass on that digital legacy. But also think about your digital legacy and what you want that to be. Like any legacy, make that digital legacy something that you would be proud to pass on. Do you want it to be something that puts a smile on someone's face because you sent them a text message to brighten their day? Let it be a beautiful family photo or a silly photo that made them laugh. The see you soon or I love you text to a family member. So what does my story tell? If you were to analyze my phone, well, here's what you would see. Someone that likes to bake, all the Google searches for recipes, text messages from my kids. You'd see someone that likes to read, lots of books and audiobooks, Location data and pictures I've taken, so you'd see someone that likes to travel. This is how it looks when we see it as an analyst on our devices. An embarrassing amount of pictures of my cat. <laughs> He's cute though, isn't he? <laughs> and my treasured photos that I don't want to lose. So again, let me ask you, what does your story tell? Think about your digital legacy as much as other possessions that will be passed down. Make that legacy one worth having and one that you're proud of. Thank you. Oh!